So let's just say that the Optimus Suite Planetary Guardians is in charge of the planet. Let's just say. From some spiritual hierarchy, they said the captain is already who are in charge of launching the captain's suite. Who are in charge. Think if, if that was said to me, what would you do? How can you be in charge of a planet? I've been working on this plan. I've been working on maps and ideas. Trying to figure out, you know, how to make human existence better for humans. And I work in a coffee shop. So I'm just kind of like trying to, trying to map out how to change the world. I got sick of all this war. I got sick of all these people hurting each other. I just said, the animal they hurt. It just seems like something's really wrong with all my life. So I do I call these things businesses. I call these things countries. When you start thinking, like if you think the level of organizing a whole planet and and let's say because that's that's my arrogance that's my insanity i started to think what if i was in charge or i had some experience with god god came to me and said okay you're in charge <laughs> even if it happened when i told you he wouldn't believe me it's like humans are just a solution. How many billionaires on this planet? There's some humans that have power. But they're not maneuvering things. So here I am. Just got to put my plan my maps and living my life and then I had an experience where God got God just gets called call whatever you want on the planet I don't care you guys can, everyone on the planet can go that doesn't matter he's insane it's not true for me for me this was for me this was. something happened I felt like every molecule in space. I was communicating with the power of God. God, God consciousness is a, it's just like an everything. It's like you're in, let's say you're in a park and you're going home from the park. Every blade of grass says hello. Every piece of the sky says hello. Every piece of the tree, everything around you is focusing attention upon you. I know I wish I looked better. I wish I was more handsome. I wish I was clothed better. I wish I had a better background. I wish, you know, there's so many things I would like to, <laughs> to say to this species. Because I know at some point I'm going to speak to the species. Because if God speaks to you, you don't care if anyone believes you because you had the experience of it. Like when Jesus was walking around and something came that you know, Jesus is going, it's me. <laughs> you know, Wallace and I, 2,000 years ago, God is kind of okay, Jesus. You go down there and, and you tell them that I'm here and you tell them that uh, I just want you guys to love each other, okay? And Jesus is going, <laughs> are you kidding? Do, do you know 
what these humans are. You know how they think. <laughs> they don't believe in you. And God goes, I know. This is like all the game. And, and I'm, I'm just like, you, I'm not even the sun or I'm not even the cross of yourself. So all this big thing or everything in the world is the big thing. And you tap into this consciousness, which is everything. But when you do, you, you don't care about the people that you care about. So, Jesus is born. I got this thing called. different down here. God's going, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I created this whole thing. <laughs> uh, but there's a storm. You have to exist it. You got to do things. You got to feel things. You got to be things. You got to just kind of like, you're an entity. You're, you're an individual human being. Go for it. You know, this is my gift to you. You're, you have existence. Now go do something with it. And that works for like as an entity here. Like, what you do is these have green screens. And it's just a bank account. It's like, I mean, how does it work up there in the spiritual realm? It's like, as you were disconnected, not accessing these higher realms of people like Buddha and Jesus and Muhammad. Prophets and call me one. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you believe me. I mean, you can go. These things he told to go, go, go. We used to hear you. But when God talks to you, and you're spiritual in any way, you know what I'm talking about. It's, I don't care about the words. I care about we're human. You wear clothes. And then all of a sudden, you do these things in alignment for you. So here we are, 21st century. But it's, it's like people who do the psychedelics, the shamans, the wizards, they go places. They go places into a dimension. And it's very difficult to, to communicate what happens there to other people. I experience in these other worlds that I go into, it's so weird, it's so different, it's not like, I mean, it's just different, you know, it's like the matrix, right, it's like, I don't know, it goes into the construct, and, uh, guys, uh, those aren't quite like you think they are, right, so the matrix movie show us, like, like, what's the possibility? Listening this long, you may be paying attention. You should go, oh, this guy's saying something I should pay attention to. Let's get back to sort of being in charge of the planet, kind of. So, we're at a point in our evolution where all the humans on the planet have the choice of something here, the choice of. Supposedly, the leaders are supposed to do the best for all the people in the country. Right? 
we're supposed to make sure that we made things are organized for our good so that everyone in the country prospers. Now, in, in an ideal this would occur. Seem to live in an ideal world. I understand that there's some scabbing. There seems to be a little bit of like shady style. Um, I don't think most of you would like to go invade the country. I don't think most of you would like to uh, uh, blow people up in a way. I don't, I don't think most of you really. Your vault is filled with gold, you know, and but for some reason, I, I don't know what it is, but there's some entity, groups of entities, humans, I don't know, organizations, there's, there's people on this planet that have a sort of a control mechanism, and this control mechanism is starting to Very linked into what do you believe? I could be saying all these things, and you say, well, I don't believe you. None of these things are true. So I'm just saying something. I don't know what you believe. I don't know what you believe. So all your life you've been going to school. There's a big difference between this is the truth and this is what we believe to be true. The truth, like I'm standing here, you're seeing me, you're watching me, you're experiencing me. That's true. If, if you watched me and someone came in the room and you're watching me and someone goes, goes, you're not watching me. You're bullshit. I'm watching him. That's true. This is, I'm experiencing this. This is reality. Someone pointed at my head and said, there's a green dot. There's a green dot right there. Do you see it? Oh, well, I see it. The green dot. Now we have an argument. He sees the green dot. I don't. The green dot. Basically. Green dot. Some programming. And I put a green dot on my head. And go, okay, you've got a green dot. There would be a big argument. It's what it is. Well, it's kind of like that. This is like the world's view, and that's how we see the world. It's a conception of our mind is organized by all these beliefs. And basically, we see the world according to this belief system. So, you either believe there's a God or not. And that's a big difference in the, the you know, they're hoping, oh, there's some God, some great God is going to help me. Quiet. I hope I'm going to be in this life and maybe God. You know, whatever. There's a whole bunch of beliefs about this God. But there's some people that have experienced God, Jesus. There's spiritual masters that have been on this planet. And there's books written about it. So I believe this God. This guy's on the really good. That's why I really want to believe this guy. And I don't want to discount trash any prophet consider not I don't know but what I have experienced just a little Oh, you, this is what 
what I experienced. Maybe not in the books or even ever someday I can even know what happened to them. And you can't discount it. You can't just say that's not true. This is what happened. I have had strange experiences all my life. And I sort of myself and when I told other people, you know, they think you're nuts. And then you don't tell other people, right? So there's a lot of people on the planet right now that are talking about their own experiences. Say something to whoever's listening. That, you know, the distinction between God and the Holocaust, and it, not its own thing, it's not a cause. Just go to So, um, you have to understand that's not over. We've come through thousands of years of just Things, but within that war, nations rise and people come together, things get organized, things get invented, things get built. You come to a point where an evolution is as small as things like where war seems to be a norm, seems to be always the way. But I feel or sense or know now that you can't have a planet that is peaceful. You can't have a planet that is love. The humans have intense emotions. We have hatreds. We have jealousies. We have resentment. We have all of these things that are innate all of us that have in, in accordance with our life. Some of these things are intentional. Some of them are for the violence of this one. So a lot of it wasn't intentional. It just happened. These are things that are going to occur with humans to develop their own character on how they uh, in the country needs to develop their educational system and how they're going to deal with that. Essentially, we're all about to say that. Some sort of higher intelligence, a species you know, that has parasitically uh, used us, and all our history is distorted. And once that's removed, which I think is happening, we're going to be different, but we still need to figure things out. So we need organizational structures, we need uh, methodologies, uh, we've invented them all. The humans have been there right now, there's so many other things, there's so many ways to fuck up, there's so many ways to be in alignment to the planet, and so working in harmony, promoting balance and the First Nations people. So wonderful, wonderful. So, so we're going to have to 
most people plan. Most people plan Why not? Why not? It's just in town. They don't want to know about it potentially hurt another people. They need to take away the corruption. They need to take the things from people. They need to take away all of the scamming that's going on. a species. I don't know if I originate in the species that they become some other plan and they become this plan. I think I'm going to be in trouble. So I don't know. I'm sure maybe someone will come along and say, hey, you do this and you do this and this and I don't know. And there's a thing about memory. We do lay out in the usual tradition. It says when we are in our own soul, the memory just comes back into our lifetimes. I think it's the thing to do ourselves. So, if that's the case, what part are you going to play? I'm looking for 150,000 planetary guardians that actually believe what I'm saying. <laughs> to create a, a media system to give truth back to the people. And if you want, <laughs> I'll dream to gain you. This is me just saying. Or just get something. I know this isn't kind of like professional. This is a thing. Scripted. I'm just talking. Fireside chat, right? say that, you know, we have such a beautiful place that we live in. You know, all humans deserve a chance at a good life. And I think if it was fair that everyone had a chance, then everyone would have a chance. This is the time. This is it. This is our species evolution. Thank you.
de Bajumasa. This is just like a message. People out there who get it, to sort of, we are moving to a new, loving, peaceful space to this world. And I think everyone's going to be bored because we really can't be gone. And for all the beings that are still. Anyway, this is sort of probably 